più dry farfalloni amoroso, notte giorno di torno girano, delle belle tornando al riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor, delle belle tornando al riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor. Questi bei panachini, quel cappello leggero galante, quella chioma, quell'orio brillante, quel vermiglio donesco color, quel vermiglio donesco color. Non più frai, quei panachini, quel cappello, quella chioma, quell'orio brillante. Non più dry farfalloni amoroso, notte giorno di torno gerato, delle belle tornando al riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor, delle belle tornando al riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor. Fra guerrieri può far bacco, Grand bustacchi stretto sacco, schioppo in spalla, sciabla a fianco, collo dritto, muso franco, un gran casco, un gran turbante, molto onor, poco cantante, poco cantante, poco cantante. Ed invece del fandango, una marcia per il fango, per montagni, per valloni, con le nevi e salioni, al concetto di tromboni, di pantate, di cannoni, che le porre tutti i toni, all'orecchio fan fischiar, non più vrai, coi penachini, non più vrai, Quel cappello non più vrai, quella chioma non più vrai, quell'aria brillante. Ciao a tutti ragazzi, it's Silly Sonic here and welcome to a brand new video in The Sims 4. As you might have guessed from the title, the thumbnail and my intro in Italian, this video is a collaboration video with the Italian Sim Squad. So every one of these amazing creators participated to transform a part of Windenburg, which is one of the world in The Sims 4, transforming it into Borgo Ventoso, which is an Italian inspired neighborhood. So the Italian Sim Squad is formed by me, Giulia Beltz, Kami Simming, Fez Simzy, MJ95 Creations, and OEB. All of the links to those lovely people are going to be in the description. Some of them has, have YouTube channels that I highly, highly, highly suggest you go check out. They make amazing stuff and I really, really, really like them. So, but I really, in general, just highly suggest you check them all out because all of them made downright incredible builds for this collab. Also, all of them are talented builders. They release awesome content on the social medias. So I'm gonna link all their Twitters and for the ones that have a YouTube channel, I'm gonna also link the YouTube channel. Please, please, please check them out, especially their videos and the channels, especially the videos of this collab. We are gonna post them on our Twitters and or on our social medias in general. So please give a lot of love for this collab. So my build for this collab is in the 20 by 20 lot. We decided to transform specifically the countryside area of Windenburg because it is the one that resembled the most an Italian like landscape. So we decided to go with that one. So each one of uh, each one of us decided to transform one lot of this like area. And actually I decided to do two since we had two 20 by 20 lots. And we also, I, I know that the others really, really wanted the bigger lots because they had some great projects in mind that I'm super, super excited because those are, oh my God, I saw some sneak peeks, some previews obviously because we chatted all the time and those are great. My speed build is about a bar slash tobacco shop. So that's something <laughs> that you might be like, why did he decide to do that? The reason is, first and first, I wanted to make it a little bit small so I would, that it could fit obviously in the 20 by 20. Um, so we did this, I decided to do cool with the tobacco slash 
the slash bar um, with also an apartment at top and I'm gonna explain my reasoning uh, the reason is uh, because these kind of shops are very like typical of Italian cities so obviously this build itself is very much inspired by the city center of Sassuolo which is a little city near where I live there is like 50,000 people so it's not that big of a city but it's like the, one of the main like center where I go to where most of my friends live and um, the idea of building this bar slash tobacco shop came from our Twitter chat actually um, is because these combos are super common here in Italy especially since you know we love our coffee we have so many bars everywhere and tobacco shops are pretty common too and they do sell cigarettes, tobacco, lighters but you can usually also buy other things like gift objects and candies and you can also play the lottery and sometimes there are also slot machines in them um, since this one specifically is a combo shop plus bar usually the tobacco shop is just selling cigarettes and tobacco so in this build I decided to focus on the idea of this city center like small day bar uh, with lots of seating both inside and outside it's a very typical of Italian city to have many bars and cafes that are open all of day doing both breakfast but also happy hours so usually bars serve alcoholic drinks we don't really have the culture of separating our day and night bars uh, while there are some bars that are only nighttime you know usually they are like combo bars and you're not supposed to order alcohol in the morning unless you're getting an irish coffee obviously and vice versa it is sometimes frowned upon to order breakfast drinks like cappuccinos after a certain time so if you want to have a super happy hour you're better off getting some tea or some non-alcoholic cocktail you can still order a cappuccino and as a snack in the afternoon but some places in italy just won't serve it to you which is i know a lot uh, to the side of this beautiful bar that I'm super pleased and I'm gonna talk about in a second I also added a fake book bookstore facade um, next to the entrance and the idea is that since this is a complex for like shops and apartments um, it made sense to have the um, another another shop in it I didn't want to add a full shop so I just did the facade as I said also there is an apartment uh, I tried to make it the apartment, I tried to make it a little bit outdated, both in the layout and the furnishing, but also tried to make it look realistic. It's very much inspired by mid-century Italian apartments, and is especially inspired by my grandparents' old home. There are two bedrooms and a bathroom. Um, the beds, have, that's pretty, uh, pretty interesting facts. The beds that I added in the apartments do not face the doors. That's, uh, there is a belief, a very old, a bit morbid belief that is very common here in Italy that it is bad luck to have the foot of the person on the bed pointed to the doors since when you die in your bedroom your body get carried away from your room feet first so it's like bad luck to have your bed facing the door directly so let's talk a little bit more in details about this bar uh, on one side you can see there is the actual bar stru structure with the cappuccino machine and the coffee machine and all the pastries I would have loved to have more options for like the pastry stuff because usually there are so many different options both sweet and salty um, But it's fine. It's fine. So here which you can see is at the back of the quote-unquote tobacco shop obviously it's not a real like tobacco shop because we don't have any like that in the scenes for it's all play 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 pretend i cannot speak um i decided to use the little tea um item you saw me place some of them i filled out that wall completely because they kind of look like cigarette packs so it made sense to have like kind of like a wall because usually that what you see when you go into a tobacco shop here in Italy I'm not sure how it works in other part of the world I'm pretty sure it's basically the same but here in Italy especially um, the tobacco shop have like giant walls of cigarettes 
all at the back. So that's exactly what I did. The rest of the bar is just pretty nice. I obviously added all the stuff that you need to make it function as a bar. So this lot is actually a bar. If you want to download it on the gallery, it is just up there right now. You can absolutely just check it out and download it if you want it in your game. It fits a 20 by 20, obviously, and I think it fits perfectly here in Windenburg, but you can obviously place it wherever you like. And as I said, this is a bar slash apartments slash also, I guess, shop. You don't really have something to sell, though. Um, so you can easily change the type of lot in the corner up where there is like the title of this little place um, where there is written tobacco shop. You can easily change there and make it um, an actual like shop if you want to sell something i don't know what you would like to sell because there isn't much that you can sell that i placed you're gonna add stuff that you can sell obviously and you can change it into a residential lot if you want your sim to sleep and live here um my idea behind it obviously is that the apartment up above is the same this department for the same people that are like they, they own the bar and they um live in the same apartment so it's easy for them like to go to work they just go down the stairs and enter their own bar which is something that it's kind of typical i guess here in italy it's not too uncommon to have the house of people above the shop that they own and i love the outside the area right here that you see that is so pretty with this yellow chairs and all the like mixed up uh, tables. I, I don't know, I really, really, really like the outside of this. And yeah, obviously, as I said, you can download this build right now on the gallery. You can use hashtag SillySimux, you can use SillySimux as my ID, just like here on YouTube, without spaces. You can also use hashtag Italian Sim Squad. And yeah, you should find it and you should find also all the other uh, builds for from the other creators that again I highly suggest you check out because everybody did such an amazing job I'm super 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 excited just to see the entire building process of all these people obviously I saw kind of the stuff that they're building but I haven't seen everything and I haven't seen like the whole building process so again I'm gonna also probably share the, all the stuff on my social media so if you want to check me out in the social media those are down below and I'll probably talk about the other builds <laughs> there as well so right now we are basically done with the bar area uh, the bar and like the fake bookstore and all like the outside um, we are going to go into the apartment and as I said the apartment is very old school looking um, especially like here in Italy some apartments are like more modern obviously but especially in the city center your apartments are gonna be a little bit older looking the layout is gonna be older um, styled so you know I, I try to keep the atmosphere um, of the build right and I'm placing some stuff, some lights outside because I wanted the outside to be good and look good. I didn't want it to feel like weird. Uh, so right now we are creating the layout of the apartment. It took me a while to get it right exactly as I wanted. And I think I t it turned out pretty well. I also believe that if you take out this apartment and use it as just a house, it would be a very, very tiny house <laughs> because it's super small um but you know it, it, it's it's cool to have a small apartment and it, it made it a little bit more challenging uh but also i really liked it and um you see here i'm doing this weird table structure in the bar uh that state that is like i guess would be like standing table as well uh obviously it's not standing tables it's just actual tables but yeah um you know, it, it, it works with my idea behind it. So right now we are doing the entrance part of this uh, house. That is such a cute entrance. I really like it. Uh, it's super pretty. It's nice. It's sweet and uh, very inviting if I might say so myself. And obviously the stairs come up to the apartment. And in my mind, probably since, you know, this is like a little like cutout of the city center 
um, you would have other apartments connected to it because there would be more structure going on, but you know, you get the actual gist of the thing. For the apartment, I, I don't remember if I actually keep the tiles. I was going to keep the tiles, I think, um, but I probably do change them out in the end. The reason is I like tiles in my uh, bathroom usually and the kitchens, but in Italy we don't ha always have like wood floors. It's not that uncommon to have tiles. Just come, you come in into your living room and your living room is tiled instead of having like wood floors. Actually, in my house where I am right now, um, my living room and the kitchen and the dining and the other like side living room, because we also have a little other space, the corridor as well, and one of the three bedrooms, because that bedroom we don't use it as a bedroom, we use it only as like a storage room slash computer room, um, that those are all tiled, while the obviously the bathrooms are tiled as well, we have two bathrooms and doors, those are tiled, the little balcony we have is tiled, and the two bedrooms, my bedroom and my sister bedroom and my parents bedroom, um, those two bedrooms, those are fully like wood floors. So um, we actually added the wood floors of ourselves when we moved in because these were tiled as well. And that's just a little trivia. I think I do keep the tiles maybe. I don't know, I feel like I keep the tiles. Because I wanted to keep the tiles really bad, but also at the same time I couldn't find the tiles, which is something that I'm gonna talk about. We really want like all of us in the Sim Squad community, Italian Sim Squad, uh, we really want an Italian word. So if you haven't checked out the um, surveys that the gurus are giving out lately, there was a survey where they asked what kind of words we'd like to see soon come out in the same for. And one of the options was Italian vineyards. And obviously all of us really want that. And we would love to see an Italian word in the same for. Like that would be awesome. So. This is basically a collab to advocate for an Italian word to come to the scenes for, just because I really want to see it. I really want to have objects and structures and items that resemble Italian items. We do have some that could work, but like, I don't know. I feel like all, even this apartment here, where I tried so hard to make it look Italian, it still feels like kind of American, I don't know, I, I don't I don't really see the Italian. The, the main problem, which is something that I'm gonna talk about probably also in another video, uh, where I'm gonna talk about that video, like that build that I'm talking about right now, um, I'm making an Italian villa for my 100 baby challenge, and we don't have that kind of texture that we have in Italian villas, rocks formation, like we have like rustic Italian rock villa, and houses that are like everywhere in Italy have this specific rock type like on the walls. The walls are made of that exact stone and that exact stone texture it's nowhere in the game. Kind of similar but way different from the um, Foxbury stone I think from a university. That is kind of that. So actually in that build I did use the Foxbury stone stone, <laughs> I know I said it that, like that, but um, that is probably the closest things to that exact stone pattern that I'm thinking about that is literally in every rustic home in Italy. Every, <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Like if you search up right now, go to Google and you look up Italian villa, one of the first Four options is a rustic villa that is inspiring my 100 baby challenge house that is exactly that texture that I'm talking about. And that texture is literally everywhere. Like the house where I went to on vacation in the mountains, like near my house, like an hour away from here, it was a rustic house, obviously, because it was in the mountain and it wasn't renovated or anything. And it had that same stone texture. And I'm so mad that we don't have it in game because it would have looked so good in this build. But it's fine. I'm not gonna get mad about it because hopefully if this collab gets to as many people as possible and people see it and the gurus see it, they might be like, oh, they really want this Italian word. We might give it to them. So hopefully we'll see. Um, as I said, there are two bedrooms in this house. There is a children bedroom, uh, slash teen, I guess. Could be also a teen bedroom. I think it's more for a child. And there is obviously the parents bedroom. 
Uh, you obviously can change them out, make them whatever you would like. I really like this children bedroom. I, I like children bedroom in, in, in general, just making them. I think, I I don't know, I have like a little bit of a, a, a I was about to say kink, not really not the word that I was searching for. Um, I, I have a little bit of a, I think I have a good eye. That's better. That's a better like, phrasing, I think, <laughs> of what I'm trying to say. I think I have a good eye for children bedrooms. Let me know in the comments below what you think. I, I like my children bedrooms. I think those are cool. Um, but again, I try to keep all like the bedrooms the same kind of vibe, look and feel. Uh, old school, creepy, <laughs> not creepy, but old schoolish, I guess. Uh, and this master bedroom, I really like what I did with the back of the master bedroom, you're seeing right now, with the back of the bed. That's super pretty. It's not super common in Italy to have like stuff just directly on top of the bed. But maybe, like, since this is a little bit of a smaller apartment, it makes sense. Also, I couldn't really fit in side tables because of the space. You can see there is really not that much space for this bedroom. So, um, I think this is a good solution to still have, like, place, places where you can put your stuff before you go into bed without um, making this room bigger because you couldn't really do it. Um, but still, we have the space to put in a nice chair as well, so that's cool. I'm, I'm pleased with that. Uh, again, adding a lot of decorations, a lot of plants, a lot of pictures. That's something that I do all the time. So, um, not really something crazy, I guess. We are, I think we are just doing the last things. I was just going through the debug catalog to see what other objects we could add, but I think we are almost done. Just a couple of benches on the sides, because I realized that we didn't have any benches and since it is like also, I guess, a bar lot slash red like lot for everybody to go through, um, it, made, it made sense to have them. I also put in a little like uh, chimney thing, even though we don't really have a chimney. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that one, but you know, it, it looks cool. It looks cool. That's the that's the that's, <laughs> that's why we did it. I'm sorry. Um, but also, yeah, I'm talking about here the screenshots. Um, I'm just gonna say, um, I did do another build, as I said, in the other 20 by 20 and that is coming up soon, so I'm gonna uh, let you know, so that you might want to check that one out, it's way less complicated than this one, it's way less, like, super cool, and I very like, I, I, I'm sorry, I really like this one, <laughs> but the other one is fine, I like it too, um, but this one is so, ah, I like it so much. And hopefully you guys like it as well. Again, you can download it on the gallery. I highly suggest you check out all the other creators. They made some crazy stuff. I'm gonna say it all the time because they did. And they are amazing creators, super talented, and they deserve the entire award. And the Italian Simmer Squad is chef's kiss, chef kiss, chef kiss. Amazing. Super, super pleased with the build. I think it turned out cool. And I really like the whole like bar slash tobacco shop vibe. I like the fake library store. I like the apartment. It's super pretty. I don't know. I'm super pleased with it. I'm super proud of it. And I'm super proud to have made this collab with these people that are all Italian and all of them want the same thing, which is making cool content on the internet uh, for you guys to see. Um, I'm super, super, super proud to have participated in this one. Um, it's such a cool, it was such a cool experience just in general, just to chat with everybody and share ideas and share options and opinions. I don't know, I, I really enjoyed it. And this is the inside of the apartment. We are basically done. Again, I highly, highly, highly suggest all the links are gonna be in the description. So please, please check all of us out because so, so, so deserving. I cannot say it enough. Um, I'm probably, I'm, I'm boring yourself, like you guys, because I'm just repeating myself at this point, but <sighs> they're so amazing. These people are so amazing. So please check them out. If you liked this build, obviously you can download it on the gallery, as I said, use hashtag CitySimics, use hashtag Italian Sim Squad, or you can search my ID, CitySimics, like here on YouTubeBubble.Spaces, and you should find also the other people all on social media. <sighs> I guess this is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, put on notification so that you know when the next one is coming out. Thank you so much for watching, and 
Arrivederci.